Hi everyone, so oh, I'm not on camera, my back is bad. Um, it's now Monday and this is the situation right now. I've been in bed for, well I've been in my bedroom for 12, 13, 13 and a half hours and I've probably slept 10 of those. Not joking, wish I was. I woke up very confused because it was dark outside. As you can see, it's still dark. Obviously it's not gonna go bloody light. And I was confused because I thought, oh, I thought it was lighter than this last time I woke up because I'd woken up and turned over. I was too tired to actually get out of bed to go to the toilet. Oh, it's like a freezer down here. Let me guess, Cleo's got the conservatory door open. Bet you a million pounds, Cleo has got the conservatory door open. Because what's a day without the conservatory door wide open? She has to have every door open in the house. It's ridiculous. It is freezing, Mrs. Shithead. How can you lay there with that open? Eh? Because it's cold. But Cleo doesn't care that it's cold. Because Cleo's got this big fur coat on. This big fur coat. This big fur coat. Yes, you have. Why are you not on a bed? I've got it as a pillow. Ugh. I'm a little lazy little shitter. <laughs> Give us good leggies. Someone needs a bath. That is you. Yes, it is. Yes. Cute as. What are that doing? It's pretty freezing down here. I've got clothes filling the radiator because I'm trying to dry them. Let's see if this is dry. It's dry. I did put on. How's that ended up wet? I did end up, I put on a lot more than I normally put on because I'd filled the washer and it was jam packed. That's better. That's let some heat into the room. It was quite cold in here last night and it's because the radiators have clothes on. But it is cold. See I had tons of clothes and normally I just put two tops on there and there was four. So as it stands right now, it's after six o'clock. I've not got a video edited for today. Yesterday I was meant to edit three, three or four videos. Four if you included, included the vlog. The vlog, I don't know what, I don't think I filmed much yesterday. And then I thought, oh, when I got to bed, just do a little rundown of your day. Yeah, I was too tired to do that. I'm going to make a cup of tea and then, I don't know, I'll, I'll get back to you at some point today, hopefully. This is a man's shampoo. I'm going to talk quietly because my dad is in the kitchen unlocking the cooker for the next hour. At nine o'clock at night. I wish we got no knife in here.
don't know what this is. Plus, I ordered four things. Or three. Three things. And two are not meant to arrive till later in the week. So I don't really know what this is. I forgot about this. Um, it was on a very special offer for £9 instead of 24 Other places are selling it between 20 and 24 And it was £9 at Amazon for ages and I really rate them. I don't think I've ever... <sighs> My dad is just, I'm not allowed to film because he's always listening so he just went he was in the hallway listening then and then he switched the light off and went upstairs so I don't think I've ever tried the L'Oreal Micellar Water I've tried that and it's okay I've not had that one so I've actually bought this because my dad was meant to get it as one of my Christmas presents but my dad likes to ruin Christmas every year not for you. Um, so I've basically bought it because we'll wait for him to get it. He'll probably say I can have it and then it's probably gone back up to full price by the time he's told me I can have it. So I bought it myself. Um, yeah, probably buy my own Christmas present because he never seems to want to get me Yeah, he always wants a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot to show these. The pound I'm getting them, I don't think they're worth £5. These were £5 each. They looked really amazing on the website, but really I think they're more like £3 worth. And I paid four ninety nine each, plus postage. But I personally think they're not worth £5. And I bought three. I bought one for me and two packs as gifts. So, there's that. Have you seen how tiny they are? You can only cut them in half. So, I wouldn't expect to pay more than £3 from that. If I would have seen them beforehand, I would never have paid a fiver each. I think it's a rip-off. But I've got them now. Plus £3 postage. So, that's them. Two for gifts, what for me? And actually still on. Then, so you've probably seen me when I'm doing when I'm filming myself when I've set my camera I've got my coat on I basically live in that coat and um, I got it last Christmas and it's the second or third one I've had of that coat I really love it um, They've changed the pockets slightly and I don't like the pockets as much as I like them in the original one because the original one they used to have a zip pocket and then a normal pocket underneath and I, I preferred that you could fit more stuff in them because you can't really wear a bag with it because the bag constantly slips off so I like to shove stuff in my pockets and it's really handy just to throw on, throw a bag in my pocket, you know like a shopping bag and go to the shop. Um, and I always find it really hard to find a coat that I like and that fits me. So I was like, I really need a new coat, can't really afford one. And I went on ASOS yesterday because I returned two items. One item got refunded to my bank card and the other one went on ASOS credit because I sent it back after the cut-off point because you, you get a certain amount to send it back to get a full refund on your card. And if you send it after that date up to another date, you get a store credit. So I had £12. I think £12.80 store credit and I went on and I did a search and then I put coats under £40 in my size and I picked, I think I picked grey, black or blue. I even put white into the search even though I don't really want a white coat and it came back with a few but this was the only option and it was reduced to £25 from £16. It's an ASOS on coat, in fact I almost got this coat last year or last year's version of it and I didn't um, I ended up getting the one that I've got and then I think I wanted another coat because the one that I've got 
is very casual. You like if I wear anything quite nice underneath, even if it's matte casual, it doesn't quite go. And that's why I wanted a coat. And this is a massive parcel. Um, so basically, it cost me thirteen pound twenty because I had eleven pound eighty or twelve pound eight. He's just turned his TV up. Do you know what? I just came downstairs to make my tea and now he's going to hog the oven for an hour. So I'm going to go back up and dry my hair, put my makeup and go to the shop because I'm sick of this. So he's got these. He's got the protective thing on. I don't know how you want to do that. Oh god, is it in the cell because it's not easy to undo? Oh my god. I don't ever see why it's in the cell because it's not easy. Oh, he said me you just did one handed. But it's also got poppers underneath. I would prefer to zip. They did have some with zips. But there was only about, even when I put, a, like I put a, a £60 search in as well. And there was only about four coats of help in my size. So let me quickly try this on. so much crap on the floor. You're gonna end up falling off, aren't you? So I thought, I wonder if my car's steamed up. I bet it is, not steamed up, but it's steamed up now, but I was just looking for my phone and it's in front of me. Um, so I managed to remember to bring my de-icer out and now it's in my car. You should have one in the house as well because sometimes you can't open your bloody car no matter how much you want it open. So obviously I sprayed it all the way around. 20 to 11. So when I filmed before I came downstairs to start cooking my tea I thought I'll have something to eat and I probably won't want to shop even though I've not got any fizzy drinks or anything in to drink. I thought I can't really be bothered now because I originally got in the bath to have a bath to come out but whilst I was in the bath I edited the vlog that went up about 10 past 8 because I was still in the bath then got out just after that and went and had a shower and stuff and my dad came home and put the oven on and about 10 past 9 or 5 past 9 I came downstairs and he basically pushed past me and went in the kitchen and put the stuff in the oven and he only finished in the kitchen at quarter past 10 so we had the oven for nearly two hours. Which I'm not thrilled about because obviously I want to use the bloody oven. So I'm going to shop when my screen eventually defrosts itself. I'm not going to mess around. I'm not going to spend ages outside the shop or do lots of videos because I've still got videos to edit and I'm really tired. I'm achy. But all I've had to eat today is a slice of toast and two drinks, so I might just be dehydrated. But I've got a lot of stuff to do before I can go to bed. So, I actually did quite well with the vlog. There was like 15 minutes of footage. I thought that I'd be lucky to get five, because I couldn't remember what I'd done. I know I spent a lot of time editing videos on Saturday, but they're all up. And there's, I wanted to get another video up today. So it's going to be one of two. It's either going to be the one that I wanted to be up tomorrow or the one that I wanted to be up today. But the one that I wanted to be up today is going to take well over an hour to sort out. So I'm potentially going to have to put them up in a different order just so I can get the video up. So I went upstairs about four o'clock and I just finished drying my bedding because I put my bedding in the washer and then I put it in the dryer. And it was taking ages in the dryer and I don't put it all in together, I do it individually, otherwise it just tangles up and takes forever. So I think after I've dried the sheet, I put the duvet cover in and I went back after about an hour and it was still quite wet and I'm like, why is it wet? And then I found out the filter was full, 
so I took all the crap out of the filter and it worked fine. So when I was going up to bed, I'd actually planned on washing my hair yesterday and it got to the point where it was like, I'm not doing it at four in the morning because I want it to be dry before I get into bed. So I went upstairs with my bed in and I just thought, I'm only going to put the sheet on and the pillowcase, I'm too tired. So when I got to my room, I thought, oh, I might as well just put my duvet cover on because duvet cover on because the other week I had it off for a good month and my, like, yeah. So I put the sheet on and when I got to the fourth corner, I realised I put it on wrong because the fourth corner wouldn't fit across, so I'd put it on wrong. So then I had to go around, take it off and put it back on properly. Then I put the duvet cover on and when I was just about to shake it out, you know, so it all goes in properly, I realised it was inside out, so I had to take that back off and I thought, oh, well, this is an omen. This is like telling me I definitely need to go to sleep. So I thought I'll have a quick shower, get in bed, go to sleep. And I got in the shower and I like I got body lotion on and everything, got in bed and I don't know what time I went to sleep. And then I woke up. Oh my dad got up. Did he take it up? I'm sure my dad got up and I was actually I was awake for quite a while because my dad was up and he was making loads of noise. So I think it was about six, six thirty, seven. Then I fell asleep because he went back to bed. And then I woke up a few times and I was like, oh, I don't think it's that late. And I needed the toilet, but I was so tired, I couldn't physically get up to go to the toilet. So I basically ended up falling back to sleep, woke up and it was quite dark, but not pitch dark like it is now, but the sort of darkness, like it's about eight in the morning darkness. And I was confused, so I was like, I'm sure it was lighter than this when I woke up last. Yeah, it was 20 past four. I'd slept, I'd, I'd woken up a few times, I had a weird dream about Billy Joel, some of you might not know who Billy Joel is, but apparently I was getting married to him or we was in these weird relationships. I <laughs> um, don't know if I should put that on the internet, it was just really, really weird and his ex-wife kept turning up and spending time with us. <sighs> just uh, don't know where my dreams come from. So I looked at the time, I was like, no, it can't be that time, and it was. And it took me till half five twenty to six to get out of bed and then went downstairs. I think I filmed, I don't know if I filmed, but I gave my dog a treat, I got a slice of toast, had a cup of tea, watched a bit of TV, just sat there like I'm tired. I'm also really down as well. So that's why I'm not really as motivated and I don't feel 100 percent health wise. Like I got really achy legs today which above the knee, don't go down to my calf, so I don't know if I'm catching anything or coming down with something or what, and my bad back's a little bit bad as well, so. So I had my bath and I was in it for a long time. I edited the video, I saved it or whatever it's called, exported it, uploaded it, filled out the description box, made it live, went and had a shower, washed my hair, did a treatment on my hair. And then I was just going to start immediately getting ready and I thought, oh, well, he's, I've not heard him in the kitchen, maybe he's not having anything to eat or maybe he's doing something in the microwave. So I stopped off at his room because he owes me money and he doesn't want to give it to me and he had a go at me. So, and then I found out he'd been lying to me about something else. So I was like, I'm not impressed, all you do is ever lie to me. And that was like when he pushed past me and went and put the food in the oven in and I was um, opening my parcels. I'm not impressed with those wax melts. I'm pretty sure they were 4 99 or 3 99 each, but they're definitely only worth around three pounds. For the size of them, yeah, three pounds, I'd say maximum. I like to try and edit the vlog before the next day or before I go to sleep. I don't know if I'll start this edit because I've got three videos that I need to edit. One, I need to go up before midnight. I need to go to the shop. I need to get something to eat. I need to get some drinks. I need to come home and I'm waiting for my car to, the screen's defrosted, it's now, do you know when it's um, misted up, it's halfway up, my back screen isn't even halfway up, but, and that's that really, it's not an interesting vlog, I tried the coat on, I'm pretty sure I had it ordered last year and it came and I didn't like how it looked, because it fits me. I've just not been able to see it in a mirror. That's when you see if it doesn't look right, I need a full length mirror. It only does up, so it's got those three things that come across 
and then it's got like poppers underneath and the last pop is just below my belly button but the coat is probably mid thigh so if the wind blows the coat's just gonna blow apart and blow open isn't it so that's off putting it's definitely not waterproof the hood goes over your head and like hangs here so you can't see where you're going but it was 25 pounds and obviously i think i paid 13 20 or 12 80 i think because i had 12 20 credit or something like that because uh, it was dirt cheap but i can't afford to buy anything more expensive i did look for something around the 50 pound mark because i have 12 pound off so it'll only be 30 something but I can't really afford to do that, especially because my dad won't give me some money that he owes me. And also, there was only a handful of coats in my size available. So the next one up was, well actually it weren't even in my size because it was a nicer version of what, it, what I've just picked up, but a nicer, nicer version. I can't believe it was £50, but people must have paid £50 for it. In fact, yesterday I put it in my basket and then after an hour it takes it out and it took it out and when I went back on it had sold out in all sizes and then you could click to get a notification if it comes back in stock and I did that and it came back in stock and when I went to it it had gone back out of stock again and then again it went back in stock and then I bought it so I just need to put it on in front of a mirror because it's got no shape to it it might make me look bigger than I am like the coat that I've got on has got like a drawstring on in the middle so I can draw it in tighter so it gives me a bit of a waist but that doesn't so I'm going to see how it looks and if it doesn't look too bad I'll go try it on with a scarf like a big chunky scarf and if I can wear a big chunky scarf with it then I'm going to keep it because it cost me like less than £13 and I want something other than the one that I've got on anyway my car's done I got it at the supermarket try and get something that I can cook super quickly even though I've not got much money to last me the week but I'm hungry with some drinks I'm potentially not going to the shop I'm potentially not going to the shop the rest of the week so I need to get Tuesday Wednesday Thursday cold drinks basically I used to come to the shop all the time at night and it didn't bother me, but now it does. I also had to sneak out of the house at my age. <sighs> Probably watch me on the camera anyway, he's put alerts on. Which does my head in because it constantly goes off all the time. Like even when there's no one outside and it's just like a leaf on me. The feeling's blowing away. <sighs> also, it was nice and warm in my car. God. It is cold. Ooh. I'm not putting my shopping in my boot because I can't be back. I'm just going to get in the car and go home. I only got one bottle of pop for tomorrow because they're stacking the shelves and they had loads of like, you know those little trolley things that they've got full of stuff to put, to put on the shelf. It was over the day at Colk and I've gone off Pepsi Max Cherry. couldn't get to the Diet Coke so I just got a Pepsi Max Cherry basically um, I think I've been 15 minutes in there I've got a pizza for now um, and there'll be enough left for lunch and then I'll have chicken and vegetables tomorrow because I'll hopefully do it before my dad comes home. I've got a Diet Coke small bottle for now and I've got a Monster Energy drink for tomorrow because I don't have it now because that will definitely keep me up. Uh, what else did I get? I'll probably show you when I get home. I don't think I want much more than that. I'm shivering.
see the dog wants to go out, which means she's wanted to go out for a while, which means he's not let her out. I'm sick of this. And do you know what, before I went out, well, when he came home and I first came to go downstairs to cook something, which I weren't allowed to do, he had his TV on full blast, I didn't turn it down, he turned it down about two. Went out, it was still very loud, come in, and he's turned it down. Because he wants to hear when I come back in. It's a nightmare. And now I'm going to have to whisper because I don't want him to hear me. Spencer's version, which I actually gave an 8 out of 10, but it was more like a 6 and a half to 7 because it was too oniony. All I could taste was onion and there was hardly any chicken. So I rate this. So this is going to be my evening meal on my lunch tomorrow. I didn't know what else to get. I wanted something sweet and I don't have any biscuits, so I thought I could get a pack of biscuits, melted milks. I've actually got them for some more. Not going to have that for tomorrow. That's for now. That from that. Hi everyone, when was the last day that you physically saw me? That's washing behind, um, needs to come off, I've, I've pulled it up a little bit to, because there was no heat coming near me, but I think the last time you probably saw me facially was on camera on Friday, can't remember Friday. All I remember, all I remember about Friday is doing the food shopping. I can't remember if facially I was on camera. Like that's probably really bad that I can't remember that. But I honestly don't remember. I don't know if I was on Thursday. What did I do Thursday? I don't even know what I did Thursday. <laughs> I don't remember leaving the house. Doesn't mean I didn't, but I have no memory of going out on Thursday. I don't remember anything about Thursday. I guess I can just watch Thursday's video, which went on Friday, so... I guess that's if I want to find out what I did. I know I went to the doctor's Wednesday. Don't know what I did Tuesday, don't know what I did Monday. So, yeah. But I thought I would come on. I've not edited a video and I need a video edited and up. I'm just tired. I shouldn't be tired because of what time. I went to sleep and what time I got up but I am I'm tired I've had the pizza I've had about six chocolate biscuits because if you dunk them in a cup of tea it is so good so I've had that and I've had a bottle of Diet Coke the small one and that's it I think I need to get a drink might wake me up a bit might not sometimes I do like try and wake myself up and it doesn't work there's a couple of things I need and want to do before I do go to bed. And I'm hoping because I got up so late, I get up earlier tomorrow and don't... Stay asleep that long. I don't generally stay asleep that long, but 
I've just been so tired lately. If I've not been unwell, I've been tired or both. But yeah, I'm here. Do you know what? When I was in the bath or before the bath, I was thinking about things that I wanted to talk about. And I'm just too tired to start talking about what I was going to talk about got loads of videos to edit as well whether or not I do any tonight I still have one well I've this one to edit and I have three others to edit one I don't know if I'm going to use because it's just not the best video so I've at least got three including this one to edit and one's very long and annoying because of how long it is and how long it's going to take me to edit it but yeah I've got my tired and needy jumper on again. Today it has got a little bit of makeup there, so it's getting to the point where it probably could do with being washed. But also, I can just about get away with it as well because I don't want to wash it too many times because the print on it isn't super thick. I did look and these were 3 99 but still I think 3 99 they're not worth it. It's just free wax melts, they're not, it is not food. She thinks everything is bloody food, it's ridiculous. So basically it's just free wax melts and they're not massive. So I think £3 or 2 99 because they were 3 99 2 99 would have been better. So... Yeah, it's a lot of money because with postage it was £15. And I personally wouldn't pay that if she did them again. I'd be re reluctant to pay that sort of price. <sighs> Can't stop yawning. I need to start getting on with what I need to get on with because if I don't start to get on with it, I'll just keep yawning and then I'll just be like, oh, I'm going to bed. Whether or not I sleep straight away is another story because sometimes I go to bed, it looks like a movie. It's because I'm doing that side to side with my legs, probably to try and keep myself awake. I said, oh, God. Me interrupting myself has just made me forget what I was actually going to say. Who knows what I was about to say? I need to try that coat on. properly tomorrow well technically today because it's one in the morning and look in the mirror a full length mirror i'd be really disappointed if it looks really bad on me because i just there's not any many others in my size and they're really really they're really out of my budget to be honest so i'm hoping when i try it on it's not shapeless and it gives me some shape i know the pockets have tacked up because it said on the listing that they may be tacked up but if you just I don't know if you unstitch it or cut the stitches out you'll probably have a pocket because I need a pocket but I just want a coat where I can wear it with an actual bag but my other coat's so big and the material also makes the bag slip down so I can't but I want to wear a bag so I'm hoping when I put it when I put it on that it just fits me really well and looks really glamorous and well not glamorous but it looks more smart I'm not saying smart smart but one day I'd love to buy a Ted coat Ted Baker coat and I think they're like 350 pounds but I'd love one winter to get it around September time if they're released by that point then I could wear it all September October November December January February I know I was still wearing that coat that I'm wearing now at my um in April because I wore it when I went in hospital but also I've seen myself in videos on here where I'm wearing it in May so I did get a lot of usage out of it so you know this coat could go through till May if it's cold enough to be wearing a coat technically you shouldn't be wearing a coat in May but I know it was quite cold I don't think we had a very good summer this year it wasn't as hot as last year, and I know I was inside more this year than I was last year, but I'm pretty sure the weather wasn't great. Oh, 
I'm glad I don't think I've ever put it on so much. There's a video on here, isn't there, that I've put up saying I can't stop yawning and it's got a load of views. I heard that people like to watch people yawn and I, I don't understand why. Maybe I should title this one, Yawning and Late Night Shopping. Might, like, I might actually title it that, I've just titled it within the video. Do you know what I used to do when I was titling videos? It used to be a sentence I said in the video. So if I said something like, I had a cup of tea today, I would title the video, I had a cup of tea today. It wouldn't like necessarily be that, but years ago the title of the vlog was whatever. There would be a sentence or a couple of words I said during the video. So I think I'm gonna title this, Cat Stop Yawning and, and Late Night Shopping. Watch me forget that I've said that I'm gonna do that and name it something else. But as far as I'm aware, that is what it, well, it's what I want it to be called, whether or not I remember to title it that is another thing. And once it's uploaded and scheduled, I'm not going to re-upload it after editing in it again. <sighs> this yawning my like is doing my head in. I shouldn't be yawning like this. I don't really know what else to say. There are a couple of things that I do want to talk about during Vlogmas. But I want to make Vlogmas more interesting because obviously for a few days now you've not actually seen me and I've not actually done that much. So it's not like I can show you, oh this is what I've done. Because there's not too much to show you. I've just been like, well, if I've been talking to camera I've been behind it. And I do that sometimes normally anyway but if I'm normally filming most of the time you can see me. But I didn't do my makeup at all at weekend. I didn't have a shower yesterday until... 4am this morning, I think it was more like 10 past 4 in the morning when I got in the shower My hair needed washing so I wasn't likely to come on here when it was super super dirty Or greasy But yeah I don't really have much else to say, I just feel like I'm just going to ramble on if I keep talking Because I keep yawning because I'm tired And there's, as I said there's a couple of things I really really want to do Before I actually go and get in bed So, oh god Right now I could literally go and get in bed and not do them, but I want to get them done. 20 past 7 in the morning, on now what is Tuesday morning, and I have not gone to sleep. I couldn't stop yawning the last time I was filming, in fact I stopped filming because I couldn't stop yawning. I thought I was going to be asleep at 1 or 2 at the latest, came up to bed at 5 to 10 past 3. And I've just been sat here, I can't get to sleep. I'm tired but I'm not tired, you know when you feel tired but you know you won't get to sleep if you try. I'm dying for a cold drink but I don't want to go downstairs because that'll probably keep me up even longer. Um, I've just edited a video which should be up before this. I didn't get to edit any videos yesterday because I was too tired and I fell down and I just didn't feel up to it so I didn't do it. So now no video went up and now I've got videos to edit including this vlog because this is going to go on the end of the last vlog because my next one doesn't typically start until I've woken up again but this is all I'm going to film to end Monday's vlog day 17 I think it'll be so if I, if I still don't go to sleep for hours and I film again that'll be the start of the next vlog anyway thank you for watching if you're not subscribed Please subscribe and hopefully see you again soon. Bye everyone.